All right, welcome back guys. I wanna do a really quick video on uh, probably the easiest LS swap alternator wiring you can do. Now, I searched and searched and searched trying to figure out how to make my alternator charge on this 5.3 um, LS truck motor that came out of an 04 Silverado. And I kept finding videos of people wanting to know like, what wire in my car do I hook up to my alternator to make it work? Well, if that's what you're after, I can't help you with that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how simple it is to make the alternator charge on anything you want. And when I say anything, you could rig this alternator up to a bicycle with a 12 volt battery and what I'm gonna show you will make it charge. So, it's not vehicle specific. In this instance, we're working on an LS swap and a 91 Camaro. And I'm not hooking it up to any factory wiring. I just wanted the alternator to charge. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the 470 ohm half watt or quarter watt resistor. That's what I'm gonna show you, because it's super simple. All right, here is my current project. 91 Camaro, which again, that doesn't matter. Shouldn't even say anything about that. Just whatever your LS swap project is, if you are not attempting to wire the alternator to factory wiring, then this is what you need to do. And even if you are, this will still work just the same. It's super simple. Now this is the alternator that came on my 5.3 truck engine. Uh, this is a Delphi. I believe it was 213 4812 was the part number. Uh, I believe it's actually a Napa Reman that was on there, 145 amp alternator. Now I was trying to figure out how to make this charge on this car, what terminal I needed to hook up to in here to send power to. Well, I ended up, I didn't have a connector. This guy right here, uh, $9 on Amazon. And then I went and I bought the 470 ohm half watt resistors also on Amazon. Took about three days to get both shipped to my house. 10 of them for five bucks, which is insanely priced because you can get a hundred of them for six dollars, but what was I gonna do with a hundred of these? Uh, so buy one of these and all you do, super simple, this plug-in, which was a Delphi, this wire is gray, and I think on most factory harnesses, it's actually a brown wire. But if you look on here really closely, like, it goes to the L terminal, which, however this is orientated, you can see it's the third one up, or the second from the right on the upper side, that one. Double check what you got, but that's what works on this car. And then down here, I soldered in and crimped in and heat shrunk that resistor and then ran this wire to a 12 volt key switch source. Now, what I've seen in numerous videos and other stuff, people say, take that L terminal and run it right to power here. Pretty sure you shouldn't do that. And the reason why is that you can't send 12 volts directly into that wire there. That will fry your alternator. It may not happen right away, it may not happen tomorrow, but it's inevitable, it will fry your alternator. You have to knock down the voltage in your signal wire right here with that 470 ohm resistor. The reason for that is that this is no longer a 12 volt source telling the alternator to charge. You are switching it to a signal wire. All it is, is a dampened down signal, five volts or whatever it is after going through that resistor that simply tells the alternator to charge. That's it. It's really that simple. On this particular car, my main power wire goes straight to the battery and forgive my wiring guys, this thing is still crudely wired up just to make it run for the time being but I'm, again it's really that simple one wire is all you need send in a signal wire telling that alternator to charge I did that it took about five minutes to wire it up ran the wire inside to a 12 volt source real quick as soon as I plugged it in on my Holly sniper I went from 11 volts whatever it was running instantly 13.8 Low 14s. Bam, alternator's charging. 
So again, yeah, that's it. I've see, just seen so many videos out there that just drove me nuts because they were, what color wire on this vehicle do I connect it to and yada yada yada. And I get like if you want to wire your stuff correctly and you want all your stuff in the dash to work. Now in this car the bolt meter on the dash still works and if you're running an aftermarket bolt meter there's a good chance it's wired to a 12 volt source anyway so it's still going to read your charging voltage while the vehicle is running. As far as the other wires that may be in your wiring harness I don't know what those are for but I'm telling you that alternator took one wire to make it charge my battery. That's it. So anyways I want to do a real quick short video on this one. Uh, I'm going to be having some other videos coming out here soon. We're going to get the car out and drive it for the first time for my LS swap build here. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching guys. Dadgummit, stay good. We will see you later.